Zebu, a brand new company, reached out to me and simply said, Darren, would you like to review some of our products? I said, of course I would. Give me a link to the website. And that they did. Hey, I got a few things and here is one of them. Today we're looking at the Zebu ZB-L100K handheld LCR test clip, Universal Bridge Kelvin test lines. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Believe you me, I do live my Unity UT622A LCR meter. This is a great meter. But it doesn't come with Kelvins. No. After a couple of years, I'm thinking, hey, time to do a bit of an upgrade. Well, whoa, lo and behold, Zebu comes to the rescue with these gorgeous looking Kelvin clips. I mean, these are some really nice looking clips. Look at that gold tipped. Oh my goodness gracious. And of course, this will work with any LCR meter um, that has your standard LCR inputs like so of course we have our pot high the pot low and the guard and uh we'll try a little testy with our new calvins thanks zebu all right so first thing we're going to do is take our calvin clip and simply insert like so doesn't get much easier does it we are now calvin ready and i'm excited i am Excited. You know what? It's always great when you find accessories that will match your existing equipment. We love buying new things all the time, but it's great to add that extra little bit of, you know, mileage to stuff to gear you already have. And let's face it, a lot of electronics gear, you know, it should last a long, long time. Check out the quality fit and finish wise. Perfect. I mean, these are as if it's right from the OEM itself. Fits in there snug as a glove. Awesome. Not loose at all, at all. I mean, just a great, great fit altogether. Wow. Hey, let's face it, sometimes we need precision. Hey, maybe you're into building RF circuits. Uh, you don't want to guess those component values, right? You want to make sure they're within spec. And uh, to do that properly, Calvin clips go a long way. In this case here, I've got some 300 ohm axle resistor pick them off of Amazon and uh, I'm about a third of the way through right now uh, sorting them. So I, so far so good. So far all of them are within spec, within that tolerance. These are 5% tolerance, uh, 300 ohm resistors and not one has failed yet. Um, I'm gonna use the Kelvin leads. I'll show you a couple of examples of what I'm doing and just how handy dandy these are. Okay, so here we have that Unity in a tolerance mode. Uh, it's set to default right now to tolerance. So even if I turn it off, turn it back on, bada boom, bada bing, we are in tolerance mode. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That thing is so fast to boot, isn't it? So sitting right now at 300 ohm, uh, that is what I had set it for. I pre-programmed it earlier. And as you can see here at the top, our frequency is set to one kilohertz as well. Our tolerance level, 5%, because these are 5% tolerance resistors. So very simply going to hook up one end to the other end on our new gorgeous looking Kelvins from Zebu. And then I'm going to simply hit the trigger function. And there you go. So you can see we have a green, which means we are in tolerance. Yes, we are 0.670%. Well, within that 5%, remember 300 ohm resistors is what we're looking at and yeah we are good to go basically got that nice green indicator as well so very very nice all right gonna do another one because this is so much fun i can do it all day long good price on these as well i mean they weren't very expensive so uh always nice when you can get good components for not a lot of money so here we are again i am putting one end of that kelvin onto the other end like so and i'm gonna hit that trigger again and there we're in 296.19 once again still in the green this one is a little less good than the previous one we're now at 1.2 percent 1.270 percent but we're within that five percent tolerance so these resistors are good now when you've ever you're sorting like me i mean you don't want to do all this and then end up getting them all mixed up, right? So I have a little 
3D printed box there. I'm putting all of my tested resistors in. All tolerant so far. Like I said, not one has failed as yet. So here's another one. Let's try it again. And like so. And we'll hit that trigger switch. Ooh, what happened? Oh, that's because I'm not connected. Oh, good job, Darren. Anyway, if I wasn't connected, you can see here, uh, we now have a red LED at the top. And uh, yeah, we are nowhere in tolerant mode. No, we're nowhere close to 5%. Anyway, let me actually get it hooked up properly here. There we go. Hit that trigger mode. And once again, green, 297.80. So yes, these Calvin clips are awesome, awesome, awesome. Another one for the good pile. It doesn't matter for the most part which LCR meter you have. This has a lot of compatibility. Um, I'll bring another one in on this scene. Another one of my favorites here, my Sanwa. Now these are the tweezers that are plugged into the Sanwa. Basically the same thing as before. So let's just try it with the Sanwa, shall we? I'm going to turn on that Sanwa right now. And I'm going to pull out our Zebu Kelvin clips. Now, just be a little careful here sometimes. Don't yank it out. And I'm going to transplant it now into the Sanwa because, yeah, lo and behold, we now have compatibility with that Sanwa LCR meter. Awesome. Now, I'm not going to set this one up for tolerant mode, what have you. I'll just try another 300 ohm resistor and see how it does. So again, we're going to hook it up like so. And that Sanwa is in auto mode right now. And there we are, just under 3,000 kilo ohms. So we are well within spec. Once again, a really good, handy set of clips. And I am really impressed by the quality of these uh, Kelvins as well. I mean, it is really nicely done. There's nothing cheap about this at all. Take a look at that uh, build quality here. Very nice. We have really thick gauged wire as well. Look at that. Even the branding, I mean, uh, the printing, the whole nine yards, very, very nicely done. And those Calvins themselves, gorgeously manufactured. We have these nice grips here. It's kind of a rubbery, material so it's not a cheesy plastic uh, you get a lot of good grip as well so uh, yeah kudos Zebu keep up the good work because so far I gotta say I am Zebu impressed okay I'm gonna do one more with the Kelvin here and then we're gonna just compare that to a reading uh, without Kelvin clips alrighty 298.13 ohms. Once again, green, good tolerance within that 5% in spec. Okay, so I'm just going to disconnect that from the meter. You can see that holds it automatically, so we don't have to worry about losing our reading. Here we are with that little B-side and 297.3 ohm, slightly lower. Closing thoughts in the Zebu L100K LCR test clips. I love them. Wow, these are well made, well machined. What a great Kelvin clip for your test bench. Let's face it, you know, sometimes you don't want to settle for second best. And when you're using Kelvin clips, you're avoiding any voltage drops along the wiring in the current measurement loop. So by using a Kelvin clip, you are getting, well, as close to possible as accurate measurement as you can. Well, what a great job on these Calvin clips. Oh, man, I'm impressed. Uh, nothing bad to say about them. Yes, perhaps it'd be nice if they're a little bit longer, but let's face it, you can't really do that because of the nature of the Calvin designs. The Zebu ZB L100K Calvin clips get a solid 4.5 out of five stars. Yeah, what a great set of Calvin clips. Good, yeah. yeah. They have great compatibility, no matter what the design or make model of your LCR. Chances are they're going to work. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one. Keep on testing.